The stage is set for the Parks BNS ball. A couple of beers this morning, the sun shortened me up. Yeah, they're just people just rolling in for the for the deal, I guess. Not a lot going on, she's pretty relaxing sort of an afternoon, so until all the fun starts tonight, so she'll be There's some wild characters here already. <laughs> Big G. And wild is an understatement. So with time on their hands, the punters get busy entertaining themselves. By the looks of it, chances are pretty high. As the sun starts to fade, Scott arrives fashionably late and in his laid-back manner tries to take it all in. Hi boys. I bet. I bet. Quite cruisy. I've never actually seen this sort of thing before, mate. <laughs> so I'm just trying to work out if I'm enjoying it or not. <laughs> kind of looks like they're enjoying it. Now circle work is something of a tradition at BNS balls, and these guys love to show off, although it is getting hard to see them through the dust. Working at a computer, however, is not the norm. Be the kind of man to do circle work for all the world to see. He'd drive around with his windows way down and his radio way up. With his beer in the back. That bass is humping, man. My nose be running, they've been doing circle work out there all day and the whole area is just so full of dust. And how about the blow? A little bit done. By the way, I think we're on in like half hour or something, so I'll go get tidied up here in a minute. It's been pretty hectic up to this gig, and the dust is taking its toll on Steve. So how's he going to handle flying to the States tomorrow? Yeah, man, it should be good tired. Like, I wish I sort of had a bit more time just to be soft before I went, but it should be really good. We got some cool stuff happening over this. I'm sure you get to see some of it. Um, it's going to be good just work on the new album. Really looking forward to uh, getting this new album, just getting into it, because... I think it's going to be really cool, it's, it's really sort of, I feel like it's really me, it's, I've tried to put a lot of myself into it, and just, which is cool, so it should be good, I'm tired. Unlike the Utes, Steve's not so revved up, but he's still keen to give us his insight into what drives the music in him. Uh, tons of different places, man, like, um, I work on a bunch of different ideas. I pretty much just hear a melody or, a, or a, come up with a sentence or just even, sometimes I can build a song just around a word that I like. I like to write songs that paint, uh, just paint pictures in people's minds. Like, I like, just, just from, and that's only because that's what I like to hear. When I hear a song, I like it to take me someplace. Like, no one really wants to hear about, well, I mean, I guess they do. Like, some, some songs are about just, everyday life, like farming and stuff like that, but the songs I enjoy the most are the songs that just take me somewhere sort of special and sort of cool, um, that you you can't get without the the visual sort of sensory hit with the brain, so it's, it's cool, just, just cool ideas and words and phrases. And... and what about his thoughts on performing live? But at the end of the day, you know, Neil, like, if, if one person's there, it's, um, Shit, if they're having a good time, we're having a we're having a great time. So that's all we need. I just whoever's there, whatever's around, we we give the same show to everyone and the same um, intensity and everything. Everything I think that's really important, and people sort of appreciate it. Night's falling, and the gig is now minutes away. Steve is battling hay fever and exhaustion and has to psych himself up to front the flange and deliver to his fans. And the show must go on. Rock and roll, baby, it's all happening. I borrowed a guitar, so I'm sweet. I've actually got a guitar to use tonight, Mick. Vocal warm-up. Yodelay, hee-hoo, hee hoo Yodelay, hee-hoo. We're good. That's it, that's warm. Yodelay, hee-hoo. Yodelay, hee-hoo. Yodelay, hee-hoo.